How's it going everybody? World Money Wins here. Welcome or welcome back. I'm making this video on a Sunday, so I'm not sure what the price of silver is now. But we'll see. We will see. I'm going to show you a little bit on how I'm trying to organize a little bit of this, these world coins I've been getting from, uh, from Liberty Coin Service. <clears throat> so I ended up getting like just some I don't know, druggy bags or whatever they are, and uh, been sorting them out. There's been some amazing things. I would think that a lot of this stuff would be collectible, but I'm just getting it so cheap. Um, so the world coins, I don't know much about them. They're they're cheap, and they're silver. So I just did a video on these ones, these Balboas. These are 90%. So I'll stick them in the 90% bag. I'm, I think I've. I think I've got all their Balboas now. I like the bigger ones, the big chonkers. But I think I've got all the Balboas out of their bucket. That is cool. This thing is so big. It's like the size of a... Wait, let me see. Actually, let me compare. Here's a peace dollar. Bam! And a Balboa. Holy cow. Balboa is the same. It looks like the same price. The same size. Actually, I'm going to weigh this up. Let's have a journey of discovery together. I have no agenda here. I'm just wanting to put them together. 26.736 grams. 26.702 so almost exactly the same weight and size as a peace dollar that is super cool it's way cheaper than a peace dollar as well I think because I just paid uh, a buck over spot I think for these so got my 90% bag for these probably just gonna have to call it a Balboa bag because that's all that's in there. I have to figure out what other 90% stuff that I have that's not United States currency. So these so I need a 720 uh, 720 one for the Mexican stuff. I think I've got a few pieces that that I don't know what they are. Oh, some of these are fit. Oh, these are sterling crown. A pre-1920 half crown. Those are sterling. Of course, people told me what the stuff was for, and I forgot. I guess this. 30 centavos is 90%. It'll help if I show it to the camera. And then the sterling goes in the sterling. Actually, I need bigger bags now. Because, also in the previous video, I showed this Silver Jubilee. This monster is sterling as well. From Bermuda. The Bermuda Monetary Authority. So it's kind of cool. It's interesting to get, just compile this stuff into just different grades. I got some like 50% silver. Post 1920 British coinage is 50%, which I'm not actively stacking. But I got it basically as a, a voyage of exploration. Knowledge. I learned by doing instead of just by, I guess, reading. So let's see. I can't remember what these are, what the purity is on these. I think they're sterling, but I'll just leave them separate because we're going to get into this bag here that I got at Liberty Coin Service over the weekend. Dang, I got so much stuff here. Oh, yeah, and I need to pull these aside. I'm going to clean these. Uh, 
or conserve them so you can see what they look like better. I need to set something up here at the desk instead of doing it in the bathroom with the horrible sound. Anyway, let's get this out of here. Move, move, move. So what did we get? Liberty Coin Service. I, I, ordered, I got three different uh, bags. Or three different little sack things. Because I got three different categories. The, I did a video yesterday of um, the World Silver. And this these are uh, Peace and Morgan's that I also got. These were $27 each. Even though there's a drop in the spot price, these were about the same. This one's got good... Uh, or looks like decent definition, but it's so toned up. Or it's not even toned up, it's just dark. This one I'll probably dip. It's not like it's got this beautiful rainbow toning. It looks better on the camera than it does in real life. But this is a New Orleans. This one has no mint mark. This one's got a lot of good definition on it. And then I got two piece dollars. One looks like it's been a pocket rider because it's really polished. This one's been cleaned or polished or EDC'd and then this one looks like it's got really good definition on it. It's got you get the piece down here you can see really well. And so I figured I'd add those to the to the stack. I got a tube I'm working on of piece dollars. And I think I think all my Morgan tubes are full. So these are these are good for uh, these are the one dollar Whitman, and there's guardhouse box ones also. It's kind of kind of handy to buy the empty tube for like a buck fifty or whatever it is, and then just slowly fill it up. I've got another one here of peace dollars. Five ten. So this is a full tube here. This is a different brand. This is a. Uh, Numis products. Numis products. This one fits really tight, but this is the wrong lid for it. But the this is a lid off something else. So, and then I think these all have 20 in them, so I got have to get a new tube. These are the Morgans. This one's got 21. Five, ten. 20. Imagine playing poker back in the old days and using these as chips. We use uh, we used to use Eisenhower dollars, even though there wasn't any silver in them. Oh, these are all piece dollars too. I've only got one tube here of the uh, Morgan. So that might be my only Morgan tube. I have no idea. I have to figure out where I put all of them. Cause I I put stuff down and then I forget where it is. So this is a full tube of peace dollars here. So I got two full tubes of peace dollars and then I'm working on this one. I need to get another empty tube for for Morgan's. This one's kind of got this weird gold plating brassy stuff on it. But it's real, it's just got this coating on it. Doesn't add anything to it. So I guess that's about it. Not much going on. I need to get some work done because I've been slacking lately dealing with that tooth. I couldn't do any work last week because I was in such pain. Then I'll probably do a little video showing these things getting getting the schmutz removed from them. And uh, that's about it. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Hopefully the metals market's uh, performing in your favor. If it's going down, hopefully you're buying. If it's going up, Hopefully you're taking advantage of an opportunity, converting your metals into some other asset that might bring you in some cash. I don't know. Let me know. What are you doing? Still stacking, I hope. Later.